You have to wait about a minute before you do your next bend when you're doing 90s this close to each other. Just want to keep your center mark in the center of the flame. When it's ready to bend, which is close to ready, do some of your bend in the fire. of the glass is very hot. I'm heating up glass close to my hand. I feel no heat. But by the time I'm done bending this, some of the heat from the end of the glass will have traveled to where my hand is. And some of the heat from the new glass I'm heating up will travel but I have probably just enough time to complete what I'm trying to do before all that happens. I can feel the heat coming over now. Down. Two sticks to make this letter U. Not two full sticks, but I'm using two sticks. Doing a 90 bend. One of the hardest bends to master. You have to be able to mark a stick anywhere and be able to do one of these bends and have it look good. When I'm ready to do a 90, I kind of push in a little bit and then to my bend. I'm making a letter U for the uh, museum sign I'm working on. It's an outline letter. This is the last bend of this portion of glass. The sign's right over there. See how flexible this glass gets when it's ready to bend? The key is to not let it get away from you. You want to get it nice and hot so when you go to lay your bend, and with these U's, you got to kind of follow the previous U you made, then lay it on your pattern, bring it around. Oh, BU, part of Millberry for my uh, museum sign. I'm doing the final weld on these two letters. The 
is about gosh, 12 feet of glass, I think. Because of the center of the bee. 